COVID numbers across the state are still at their highest, including in our most vulnerable community. In the most recent weeks, cases have soared in nursing homes. News Channel Line's Casey Honigbaum explains what they're doing to attempt to slow the spread there. New regulations has been a common phrase throughout the pandemic. But for those at the Onondaga Center, it's just the next step. It's, it's mainly taking the screening and the, and the testing, mostly the, the, uh, the screening, one step further only. So whatever we're doing now, just take it one step further. That next step means nursing home visitors will be required to wear surgical masks and provide proof of a negative COVID test within 24 hours prior to the visit. Uh, so that starts Wednesday. We'll be ready to go on Wednesday. Uh, the governor said that, that she's um, making sure that we have kits and we'll have the kits. While these requirements are new, Jakomowicz says the team at the Onondaga Center are well equipped to handle them. And we have the clinical staff and other folks who are there to screen folks when they come in. And again, just taking them one step further, you know, to it's not even a big step. It's almost like, OK, now we're just adding on to this, but it's not like a huge drastic change. But that change and adapting to it isn't the biggest focus. It's just another way for us to be, you know, to, to, to do the right thing, you know. Continuing to protect our loved ones who need it most. In Syracuse, Casey Honigbaum, News Channel 9.